start with Eric Goodman from the Austin Chronicle. Eric, go ahead. Sorry, just waiting to get some permission to record real quick. But, uh, yeah, sure. Josh, um, you guys uh, played a, a pretty inspired second half. Um, three points looked there for the taking. Um, a lot of the times, ball went out to the wing, uh, a nice cross played in, and just there wasn't somebody there to get on the end of it. Why wait until, I think, the 85th minute to bring in Lisa? Yeah, I think, well, I think we, we certainly grabbed some momentum, and there were some things that were working well. Obviously, um, you know, I think, as you said, the, the three points could have been there. We, we were a little unlucky. I think we had a couple of the chances, the one that scraped by the post, certainly after we grabbed the equalizer. And um, you know, it took a little while to get Moose in. Obviously, he was on the sideline for probably three, three four minutes till we could actually get him in. So that took a little bit of time. Um, but it was good to get him in there. He brings a physicality. He brings a, a presence in the box. And, um, you know, again, it's... Uh, you know, CC worked tirelessly. You know, certainly created chances, and and Diego was able to, to obviously cap it off. Alex had one. Johnny had one. I mean, there 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 were opportunities there. I mean, it, it's frustrating, but that's 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 where we are right now. And um, we we have the moments, and we can't quite get over the hump. But um, the the response, uh, just the, in the game, but also when we went down a goal, was extremely good. And uh, the effort and the attitude was was what we talked about and it, it's you know it's 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 really tough for us to, to win games and um the opportunities were there i think tonight is he available for a 30 minute run if, if you would have needed it musa is is are you asking is musa available who are you asking about eric sorry Sorry, Musa Chite. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But again, I thought CC was doing well. CC Diego and and certainly Alex being a little more advanced. You could see more connections. You could see us getting behind, more threatening. And, and certainly, the, you know, CC was a part of it. So I didn't I didn't want to take him out and lose kind of the, the momentum that he brought and the energy that he was he, he was still providing. So um, Musa's going to play. He's going to get minutes now, and and obviously um, it'll be nice. He, he comes in and. Uh, again, it's it's good to see his physicality and you know, where his fitness level is. We'll, we'll just have to see. We'll have to give him a, a start and and see what it looks like and, and continue to push him. Thank you, Eric. Chris Bills with the striker. Chris. Yeah. Um, obviously, Tomas Pochettino um, was not in the in the lineup today or you know on the on the match day roster. Um, could you just tell us the, the reason for that? He uh, left training yesterday with a tight hamstring before training concluded. So knowing that we have another game, um, it, it makes sense obviously for him to you know, get that sorted out and we'll see how he is tomorrow and hopefully be, he'll be available for, for the game uh, against San Jose. Similar to last time we played LFC, the day before for whatever reason, um, he had a little tightness. So precaution, obviously another game. And then I guess further on Musa Jite, um, you know, he hasn't gotten too many minutes through these matches. Yeah. Um, you know, I know you guys have been waiting on a, on a forward to, to arrive, I guess. Um, you know, why, why hasn't he been playing a little bit more? Um, well, again, I think it's it's incorporating him in the right way, and, and he'll get a run now against San Jose for sure. And, again, where he's at physically, you know, we'll just have to see. We haven't had, you know, a ton of big minutes for him in training and, and certainly for his fitness level to, to, to grow, but we, we got to get him out there and play. Again, I think he brings some different elements that, that CC doesn't, but CC was good tonight. Again, I thought the second half, the energy, now the connections with, with Sebastian, with, with Alex, and, and obviously um, our ability to, to create some chances, he was part of that. So it would have um, it would have been tough to take him out, and, and obviously he, he was giving us a lot. and. Um, you know, it took a little while to get to get Moose in, and that's you know, part of that's the you know the timing of getting him in. But um, he's going to play. We're, we're glad to have him, and, and obviously we we wanted to bring him along in a responsible way. But but he'll see some minutes for sure now. Thanks, Chris. Phil West. Phil, go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Um, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about the uh, the kind of kerfuffle between Stuver and Bukowski. Um, there in the 79th minute. Any, anything from Brad about kind of what that was about? Exactly. No. Was that just a reaction to the foul or was there something else going on? No, I think it was probably just reactions from, from two guys that are competing. So, you know, I think it's it's good to see. There's a level of intensity and certainly uh, some edginess, which is, you know, some things that we got to continue to bring. And, you know, even in, <laughs> inciting some things is good. It brings a little bit of element, um, you know, of, of, of 
a little bit of bravado from them, from Brad. So it, it starts to heighten the game a little bit, which is good. You need that in the game. You need that, that extra intensity as well. So I, I don't know what it was about, but it was fine. You expect me to hear from the league about it, though? I'm sorry? Are you expecting to hear from the league about it? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have, have to see what it was for. I didn't really see what it was. So I'll wait to see it. Thank you, Phil. We'll go to Claire Partain. Claire, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, Andreas's, uh almost goal in the fourth minute was obviously offsides. Um, and then Fagundes' handball were kind of like some big moments <laughs> in the match. Um, how did that affect the team afterwards, those two kind of calls? Are they jarring? Do they kind of fire up the team? Or how does it kind of affect the gameplay? Um, well, I think, you know, obviously... I mean, the refs make the calls, and we got to live with with the decisions. We got to live with those moments, and um, you know they have VAR to use it. And obviously, if he was offside, he was offside. The penalty is is a tough one. I mean, that's you know that's that's a tough call. I mean, he's he's turning his back. He's trying to you know obviously protect his head maybe a little bit, but the arm's not terribly far away from the body. The distance from the ball and 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 our player is not far. And I'm not even sure what part of the arm it hits, but it's 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 dis disappointing but it, that's you know that's for them and they make the decisions and um you know we got to live with it and the reactions and response after that i think was really good our guys were up for it they brought more energy more intensity and again we grabbed the equalizer we grabbed momentum and and the second one was there and um you know the, the their second one again i think we're in a, a decent spot we can we can possibly be tighter to not allow them to, to to obviously turn and now start attacking us and then how we react, you know, obviously the back line needs to get a little bit tighter, condensed space, drop and narrow. But, um, you know, I think the guys' reactions, um, intensity and, and just attitude was, was, was pretty good through this game. Real good commitment. And, um, you know, it's frustrating. I think the guys are frustrating, but uh, there's a lot to be proud of on, on from the effort and certainly our ability to, to compete and grind and, and almost find a way to win it. Thanks, Claire. Michelle, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, and a little bit following up on that, after last game, you said you wanted to see more character from the players. Was tonight an example of you wanted to see? Like, was there a motivational speech prior to the game, during the half? I want to know a little bit more about that. Um, yeah, I mean, we talk candidly about it. And certainly I've, I've had a number of discussions with many players, as have many of our coaches. So, um, you know, and, and the players have as well. So that, that was certainly an emphasis coming off of, of the Houston game. And I think that was there. I think there was a little bit of, you know, that, that edginess that we needed and, and just, you know, the, the energy and intensity that's required to play. This is a good team. LAFC is a good physical team. I mean, they, they can bring guys in one after another that's, you know, certainly got good quality, good athleticism, and, and, and can play. So our guys uh, competed very well tonight. And, again, hung in there when, when, when we gave up a goal, responded, and the reaction was strong, um, got right back into the game, and, and again, you know, for whatever reason, couldn't grab that second one to, to kind of put us over the threshold and, and, and grab a win. But um, even late, the throw into you know to possibly get a tie was there as well. But um, you know, it's winning isn't coming easy right now, and that's you know we got to continue to grind and, and continue to push. And there's a lot of positives from this game. And one last question: um, Danny Pereira made a similar mistake to the one uh, flat in Houston. Can you tell me the reasoning for putting him into tonight's game? Unfortunately, um, it, some fans believe it might have cost you the game. Um, so can you tell me about that, Seb? Yeah, I don't know how it would have cost us the game, but he, he, he came in, he did a good job. He's, he's a good player. I mean, he's a young player. He's a kid that's just removed from college. So um, there's also just a reality to his growth and development and when you make mistakes and you can get punished. But, um, you know, I think he came in, the first ball he gave away was, was, was a poor giveaway. And, I mean, he'll attest to some of that. And, uh, but what he gives us is the ability to turn, to, to drive with the ball, and, and he gives a different acceleration on the ball. And um, he can move it by passing vertically and, and obviously through, through dribbling by guys. And, um, you know, he's got a little bit different speed, a little bit, of, a little bit more ball winning. But this is part of it. He, you know, he's got to respond from the previous game. And, and, I, and again, I thought he came in and did a, did a solid job tonight. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thank you. We will go back to uh, Phil and Chris Bills for one each, and then we'll wrap up. Thank you. Um, so what's the plan uh, for Saturday in terms of possible rotation? Uh, what did you kind of see in terms of uh, who you had out there tonight? Who we might see more of uh, coming Saturday? 
Yeah, I think. I mean, I think the effort was was big. I think they put in a big a big shift. A lot of the guys, but we're going to need some of these guys to play next game, and um, they they're aware of that. I mean, three three games in a week is tough, but um, you know, obviously Julio and Johan are, are getting significant minutes. I mean, it's you know without Matt, that's you know something that we're going to have to address. You know, where's Freddie? Do we change the structure on the back line just to to help kind of you know coax along the idea that it's you know it's a lot of minutes for certain guys and. Um, we'll have to see. Take take some notes tomorrow, and, and obviously um, check in with guys and, and see where we're at. But um, we'll, we'll certainly be some freshness. We'll always need freshness. Three games in seven days, and this is the, the third of it. So uh, we'll, we'll take a look at, at at San Jose in a little bit more detail as well in the next 24, 36 hours, and um, try to come up with a good strategy and obviously good personnel that that can grab a result. Yeah, um, Josh. It seemed like you know. You had more to build on tonight than, than obviously Saturday in, in Houston, um, but you know the results not there. I imagine that the locker room was pretty down. How do you how do you take you know with just a couple of days to turn around? Um, you know, try to pick these guys up so it's a good performance. Up. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you know it's certainly easier when you have a, big, a better performance. You know, individually, collectively, I think it was a better performance. And and again, with good performances, you, you hope to get good results. Obviously, you can have poor performances and still get a result, but it's a good performance, and, and we're a little bit, you know, we're a little bit unlucky to not grab a tie or grab a win. And um, you know, those are those are fine margins. They're really fine margins, and it's 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 frustrating for the guys. But again, their spirit, their attitude, their ability to come work every day, and and you saw it tonight. They, I mean, they fight and they compete. They reacted and responded well in this game. Um, you know they want nothing more than to you know put in good performance, but to win. Obviously, that's you know the the missing you know the missing um, end product for us at the moment, and, and we got to create more goals and score more goals. I think that's that's always something we got to focus on. But there were good opportunities there again tonight, and we got to find ways to put those in, and 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 turn these almost wins into or, you know or losses into to, to ties or wins. Thank you, Coach. Um, for the media in attendance, please stick around. We will have Nick Lima address the media shortly. Thank you.